Welcome to your step-by-step -step guide to insulating your loft with Knauf insulation. If you haven't already, you should check our online list of everything you need to get started. Once you're ready, let's begin. First, put on your overalls, dust mask, safety glasses, bump cap and gloves. Then make sure your loft is empty and the equipment you need for each stage is within reach. You'll need a tape measure, retractable knife, crawl boards and your loft roll insulation, which you should keep in its packaging outside the loft for now. If cutting insulation to size while still in its packaging, you'll also need a fine-toothed handsaw. If you need to insulate a loft hatch, water tank, pipes or seal gaps around things like cables from the room below, you may need a few extra items. See our homeowners hub for more info. Lay your crawl boards across your joists, ensuring they're supported by three joists. You'll use these to safely move around the loft without putting your foot through the ceiling. Before you get started, make sure any heat producing fixtures like downlights are covered with non-combustible protection covers to prevent them from overheating and becoming a fire risk. Always make sure you follow the manufacturer's instructions when installing downlight covers. You must also ensure that any cables under a high electrical load, for example feeding an electric shower, are long enough to be laid on top of the full depth of insulation, as covering them creates a fire risk. If you're unsure whether your cables are appropriately sized for their load, speak to an electrician. If in doubt, always rest cables on top of insulation. Now's the time to seal any unwanted gaps around penetrations from the room below, such as cables or the top of wall partitions, using a high quality sealant and tape to block any potential air leakage. Rubber grommets can also be used to create a seal around lighting cables. Preparation work's done, you're now ready to lay the insulation. It's best to insulate your eaves first and then fill the space in between. Begin at the bay furthest from your loft hatch and work towards it. Start with your 100mm loft roll. Cut your insulation while still in its packaging. Your loft will likely have joists positioned either 400 or 600mm apart, in which case you can use the pre-cut perforations to split your insulation. If not, you'll need to cut your roll to the correct width. Unwrap your insulation and position the end between the joists within the eaves. Make sure the width fits snugly between the joists. Unroll approximately 2 meters and cut, so you have a shorter length to work with. Gently agitate the insulation to make sure it's expanded to its full thickness. Do this every time you unroll a new section. Make sure you leave a 50 mm gap between the top of your loft insulation and the underside of the roof to prevent condensation. If space allows, push your insulation right into the corner of the eaves and curve it down around the edge of the loft floor until it meets the top of your wall insulation. Eave vents are available to maintain the air gap. Repeat this process in each bay until the eaves on both sides of your loft are fully insulated. Now it's time to insulate the rest of the loft. Again, it's best to begin at the point furthest from your loft hatch. Push the end of your 100mm loft roll firmly against the free end of your eave insulation. Make sure the two ends are securely butted together with no gaps. Unroll your insulation, ensuring it sits snugly between the joists. If you have a water tank in your loft, don't cover the area directly underneath it and remember to make sure any cables under a high electrical load are resting on top of your insulation. When you reach the opposite eave, cut the roll and push these two ends together as well. Repeat until your entire loft space is covered, neatly cutting around any obstacles as you go. Fill any unwanted gaps with offcuts, not forgetting the gap between the final joist and the partition wall. To complete your loft insulation, you need at least one more layer laid at 90 degrees to the first layer. The total depth of insulation should be at least 270 millimeters or 350 millimeters in Scotland. The thicker this second layer, or the more layers you add, the more energy you'll save. Again, start at the eaves, 
cutting notches in the insulation so it sits snugly round each rafter. Be sure to maintain the 50mm air gap at the eaves for this second layer too. If space at the eaves is limited, you may need to start with a 100mm roll, laying 200mm next to it as the roof height increases. Roll this and any subsequent layers out at 90 degrees to the first. Begin at one side of the loft and work your way across. Use your crawl boards across the joist and unroll from the side to avoid putting any weight on your insulation. Again, rest cables on top of your insulation and check that each roll is pressed firmly against the next with no gaps. And you're done. An important final task is to insulate your loft hatch if it isn't pre-insulated already. You can find advice on how to do this, as well as how to store items in your loft without compressing your insulation on the Knauf Insulation Homeowner's Hook.